Oh, man. You need to tell him to calm down. It ain't no rush. Shut up! Oh. Uh, fuck out the way! What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome into my home. Yeah. Title of this email. Oh, there's really no title. It ain't? No. But uh, I remember what this email's about. A man makes a bleed. She ain't no virgin either. Dear Hawks twins, you guys are really funny and handsome. Thank you. You don't say. I appreciate that. Handsome. She said it was handsome, huh? Yeah. I have a huge crush on Kevin. See? Why ain't everybody like you, man? Because I look better than you, man. I'm more handsome. You got that rugged look. Like, like uh, Clint Eastwood, you know? I got that smooth look, you know? Like Shamar Moore? <laughs> Not that smooth. <laughs> I have a question though, I'm four foot 10, 98 pounds. Oh man, she's a little bitty thing. Oh man, she's small man. You easy to damage. How much she weigh? 98 pounds. That means I could pick her up, pin her against that wall, <clears throat> Without a problem, man. You 98 pounds. Look, I'm 4 foot 10, 98 pounds, and every time I have sex with my husband, I bleed. It is because I'm small or what? Or my husband is pretty well hung. He's around 9 to 10 inches. It's a combination of things, right? Let me know if you make a video on my email. Thanks. Look at them pictures. Oh, petite little white girl. She one of them white girls. Snow Bunny. Look at that. Look at that picture of her on the bed. Oh, man, she's small, man. She, she... Can't show you the picture. She's laying on her bed, right? She got clothes on now. Yeah. She's real respectful. She got clothes on, but she's laying on her stomach. Yeah. Got her feet up in the air. Yeah. Showing and her face is close to the camera, and she's smiling at me. Yeah, she's showing off them soles on that feet. Real nice picture. Look here, It man. was tastefully done. This is the thing. Your man needs to needs to calm down. Yeah. He you know does. What I'm Cause you're petite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, she said here what nine, ten inches? <laughs> if he's not lucky, he could hurt you real bad. So you need to sit down with your man. Say, look, you need to calm the hell down. What's the rush? Cause I know what he's doing, man. He's oh! <clears throat> What he doing, man? You need to tell him. What? The, hold on, hold on. One of the things I learned. Now, see, there's a double, a double standard when it comes to sex. See, women expect for you to be <clears throat> up and ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> right. If there's any lip action, oh, they're gonna give you that stupid look, right? Now, women, we gotta go out and do the work and get her. Get her. Wet. Yeah. And that's the one thing I learned, man. Yeah. Take your time, man. Make sure she's ready. Just don't go in and be like, oh! Yeah, yeah turn up, man. Turn up, man. Give a hell. Can't do that. Can't do that, man. You got to go like this. Ah. Oh. Right? You be like, mm. Just leave the nuts hanging out. Let it marinate for a while. Then pull out. Oh. Yeah. You know, be like this. Ah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Then slow it back down. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you just don't get in your car, car, turn the car on, and then take off, do you? No, you get in your car, let that engine warm up, right? Let them pistons get wet with all that oil. <laughs> Same thing for a female. You gotta warm them up. You just don't go in there and just start <laughs> bashing her insides out. So, man. this is what you do sit down, have a little conversation with your man, tell him he needs to. Calm down. Yeah. Get you ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all you Besides, need you don't have to slam all that in. All you have to do is put in some head about three inches shaft and you're good. <laughs>